Let's look at a slightly more methodical way to convert to a different base. So let's convert the number 348 in base 10 to, to base 5. So the first thing we want to think about is what are the powers of 5. So we could say 5 to the 0 is 1's, so that's our 1's place. 5 to the 1 is 5, 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is uh, 125, 5 to the 4th is 625, and so on and so forth. So when we think about place value for a base 5 number, this place will be our 1's, then our 5's, then our 25's, then our 125's, and the next place value would be our 625's. Uh, so those would be our place values. So the way that we can convert this number into base 5 is to start by saying, what's the highest power here that will divide into, uh, 348? And you could probably see the biggest one is going to be 125. So we're going to divide 125 into 348. And we're really going to sort of imagine ourselves doing long division here. Uh, so you don't actually have to literally do it as long as you can sort of imagine how it would work. So 2 times 125 would be 250. We subtract and we're left with 98. So when we divide here, we would get 2 with a remainder of 98. And so what this tells us is that when we write our, uh, final number, that 2 is going to be the place value, the number corresponding with the place value of 125. In other words, there are two 125's inside of 348. So next, we're going to bring down our remainder and say, now I've got remainder of 98, and let's divide that by our next lowest, uh, place value. So we're going to divide that by 25. So we got 98 divided by 25 goes in 3 times with a remainder of 3 times with a remainder of 23. And so 3 will be our pla our value in the 25's place. Next, we'll bring down 23. 23 divided by our next lowest value, which is 5, gives us 4 with a remainder of 3. So we have 4 5's, and then this value is our remaining 1's, and so we have 3 1's remaining. And so in base 5, this number is 2343 three base 5. That is the base 3 version of the base 10 number, 348.